is basically a cheap Chinese makeup mirror. It's just one arm now. It's just a mirror, there is no backplate. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself, this is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Friday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is my improved se uh, selfie mirror for the Sony A7 III. So let's get it. By the way, all the DIY projects right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to get back with a sweet, sweet video. A while back, I built this. You can check out the vlog right here, a DIY selfie mirror for my Sony a7 III. Why? Because this camera is kind of stupid. It's amazing, but it's kind of stupid in some regards. There is no flippy screen, so I built myself this mirror contraption. This came with so many drawbacks. First of all, I lost the hot shoe, so I had to come up with a 3D printed microphone hot shoe thingy, which actually is amazing because now I have a front facing mic and a back facing mic. I should probably make a video about this too, because this is such an amazing design. Anyways, this in comparison is not an amazing design because it's bulky and heavy and just unnecessarily big. This arm right here, well, it's a double arm, which is unnecessary. Then this plate right here, just a mirror would be way better. And I, yeah, I was using this for at least a year and it's also, it's fairly heavy actually. Let me get a, a little scale. Okay, so 66 grams, oh my goodness. And on the new one, I basically improved on every Thing that I just said is just one arm now. I can't see if I'm in focus or the thing. Let's just hope the thing is in focus. It's just the mirror. There is no backplate. And this thing, even with this massive metal screw, only weighs 45 grams. So I think without the screw, it is it's probably like 38, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, just a short update on my amazing DIY gear. It's working well. I still need to glue in the mirror with epoxy because it's it's falling out. Just a friction fit is not enough. It's kind of sketchy. But other than that, it's working. Mwah, it's so good. It's smaller. I can move my gimbal a bit more thanks to that. And it's also looking way cooler. If you're interested in which mirror I used, you can check out this vlog right here because I plan on giving them a separate review. It's basically a cheap Chinese makeup mirror. You can get them for like two or three bucks from, from the Chinese Amazon. And I just ripped it out of this aluminum case and it worked out perfectly. There are different measurements and I found the perfect one for me. So instead of two tiny ones, I'm using one, just one and it's, yeah, it's amazing. Hope you like this new invention with the new Sony A7S 3 or I don't know. I think it's the S. You can actually flip the screen to the side. So this will be no longer necessary. If you upgrade your camera, I can't afford that as of now, but this new upgrade will do as well. I'm happy with my setup, so yeah, no issue. Smash the like button the way I smashed this mirror thingy to recycle it, bang the bell like rap, to never miss DIY projects and check the recent news on chrisviral.com and that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.